R2-D2, Darth Vader, and Stormtroopers. No, not in a galaxy far, far away. Rather, going room to room at the Diamond Children's Hospital, searching for some smiles. We come here and we try to bring the magic to the kids in the hospital. Behind the masks are the members of the local chapter of the 501st Legion the world's largest Star Wars costuming organization, who despite being bad guys in the Star Wars films, get together to bring children cheer. There's some magic involved uh, when meeting your heroes, when meeting individuals that are just larger than life. Among those surprised by the unexpected visit is 16-year-old Sidney Lee, a patient who's been in and out of the hospital diagnosed with a genetic disorder back in March while staying strong through it all. I get the same treatment as a leukemia patient. On Friday, the end to a week that's been filled with chemo and steroid treatments, Lee was able to laugh and smile with people whose intentions were to do just that. It's crazy how many people are like willing to just put their time into things that don't even benefit them in any way, really. And even though some of the visits have been harder than others, Visiting children at the hospital in hopes of making their days a little brighter isn't something that will be ending anytime soon. I'll do this until I drop. <laughs> and the group also gave gifts to the other children that were there at the nice. hospital. Now, for more information on Lee's genetic disorder and what would help cure that, you can go to our website, kega9.com.